you know what we have here? We have a ultra luxury pickup truck, this limited from Ram. Right. And we have an ultra luxury horse trailer. That's true. We're living high in the hog today. <laughs> <laughs> today is all about towing big, heavy, and expensive. But good stuff costs money. I'll have to show you the cool stuff on this trailer. Okay, how much does it weigh? You know, I don't know. Let's find out. These are the top five things you should think about when towing big and heavy. MSRP on this brand new Ram 3500 Dually with a Cummins diesel and a limited package is nearly $80,000. But that doesn't compare to the <laughs> price of the trailer. How much does it cost? Well, this high-end Cimarron with hardwood living quarters is about 130,000. Yes, and that doesn't even count the horses that you will put <laughs> in this, right? Because right, or the saddles or any of that, or yes. the hay, so yeah. And you got enough room for a whole family reunion under there. Yeah, you got a step, big handle on the door for us big boys. Okay, the Cimarron living quarters here, this is a Proline interior made by Outlaw. I mean, it's all hardwood. You see all the cabinets, the big bed, and it's got a step to get up there, and the step has a little lid on it to put your 45 caliber down there. Place to put your hats, the refrigerator, the TV that swings all over the place. Double burner, really nice bathroom on these. You know, you got the big shower with the slide together and glass. And of course, like every good horse trader, as a door to the first stall. And we call this the mudroom. So you can go in here and shake off the road apples and, and then you can clean mop this up if you bring the, the, the smuck into the bathroom. On the, the head side, this is where you feed them. And that's an automatic gate there so they can't jump out on you. But you can lift the gate up if you want to get the feet in there or pet them or make sure the bridle's connected. All aluminum. So this is a ramp for loading your horses. So this is where you would take them. This also has a drop down door on it. Everything's by ventilation. I mean, this is the rear tack. And what's cool about this tack is it's eight feet wide like the trailer is. And inside here, you've got a swing out blanket bar. And then you've got a swing out saddle rack. Of course, everything's set up for four horses. So there's four saddle rack pads. Hey, Kent! You hear a noise? Hey, Kent! Oh, Andre, what? how'd you get up there? Hey, I used the ladder. <laughs> I found the uh, hay storage. Well, cool. I'm going to go back up so I can see it. Oh, that's awesome. There you go. Yeah, it's a hay pod. Hey, you know what? I can see uh, Denver from here. Well, that's good. It's only a mile away. <laughs> All right, and put it away. Yeah, slide it up. Okay. Slide it up. Slide it up under those two things. Drops down. Oh, you oh. did it. Oh, you that's... are a cowboy, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> the new trailers, the horse trailers, have gone to a through pin system and two set bolts. It used to be just two set bolts and that was it. And that's the, it's been popular in the last five years. This really secures your neck so it can't slide down on you with a load. I've had that happen to me where I didn't have a through pin, hit some potholes with the trailer, and the load shifted forward, blew out the front tires on the trailer, and it wouldn't happen if I would have had a through pin. So it's a good thing. This is the nice part of this trailer electric over hydraulic trailer jacks. We're going up. You got air ride system here, so it's electric. It's an air ride hybrid, I call it. It's torsion and airbags, smooth riding thing. That's your controls for you. Turn it on. You can lower the trailer to load your horses. And on the Cimarron, they use the BX1 Bully Dog. It's a new coupler where you have. Flip the handle over, slide it back, and slide it back into the notch, and down, and then you're done. Nothing to it. And of course, hook up the safety chain, your breakaway switch, and you're ready to roll. These are the big tires, too. These are 8,000 pound axles. You've got 17.5 wheels. This is set for 125 pounds, kind of like a semi. And that's right where it's at. The trailer itself is electric over hydraulic disc brakes. It's the most powerful brakes you can put on a trailer, so we've got plenty of braking power. Now we want to set it upright. 
trailer brakes. This is under the settings. You get to the trailer brake, and you got four different trailers you can set for. Now this one is not set right. It's heavy electric. We need to go heavy hydraulic. So we'll go over here to this button, and we'll use heavy electric over hydraulic. What we're trying to demonstrate here is how to maneuver a big trailer. This is a big, massive trailer. It's 33 feet long, so you got to swing wide. And you got to have your mirrors set up right, which I do. I have the mirrors all the way out. So I can see past the fenders of this big Ram 3500 Dually. This is a really tight fit in front of the barn. So I want to show you how we do that. Because you're going to start off making as wide of a swing as you can. You always got to remember, you got to watch all sides. I'm going as close as I can to front to the chicken house and the horse pen so that I can get it tight. Now this has the beeper that tells you when you're too close to objects. So I'm getting where the beeper is going off. And that's, that means I'm just a few inches from the horse corral. Just a few inches. Now I'm past my barn. I'm going to go straight and then back up. And that will push the trader over a little further. Back the trader up almost to the horse pen. I'm almost forming a jackknife in front of the barn. And Looks like we're going to clear the barn, and that's all we're doing. Just jackknifing the trailer forward. We're getting on the highway again, Kent. On the road again. Hell yeah. This brand new 2017 Ram 3500 has the high output inline six Cummins engine, 385 horsepower, and 900 pound feet of torque. It's got the you know ASIN six-speed automatic transmission. It's a four x four. It's got all of the luxuries of a truck, including heated and cooled seats. Towing a big load like this will decrease your fuel economy. That's right, and so does a dually. But dually is really nice pulling a big trailer like this. Mm -hmm. This is the most comfortable towing episode I think we've ever done. Yeah, we're fly, we're floating. I mean, it's this is the kind of rig that you can take down the road. You know, day after day after day, not be fatigued. That's what you want. You don't want to be all wore out at the end of the day because your hands hurt or you wrestle the truck all over the road and the trader would not be cooperative. Something like this, it's just fun to drive. So this was not a scientific fuel efficiency test. We did that several months back with all three heavy duty trucks, but what did the computer say? It said 9.1 is what we're doing in that short run we did with the trailer. Yeah, so your fuel efficiency, of course, will go down the bigger and heavier the trailer gets. <laughs> That's true. We're parked in the consumer side of this truck stop because we're that's what we're trying out. Now, if there's room, and this is something you can do, but remember, you gotta swing really wide, get around the pumps and all the other vehicles. So I would recommend you go through the diesel part for the semis. Now, one thing that I also noticed with my diesel truck is some of the semi nozzles are actually bigger for diesel fuel. Right, they're and fast. They're, and they're high pressure. Yes, they're So fast. watch out for that. Big nozzle, look how big that puppy is. And it will fit in your hole, but that's, that's how big those puppies are. Now let's stick this in our tank and see if it fits. And that way you got to be careful. You don't want to, you want to watch what you're doing so it doesn't overflow or fill, but it does have a shut off like the regular nozzles do. But you want to be hanging on to things. And then too, now we have diesel exhaust fluid on a lot of the stations, the islands, a few islands. And it's right now at the pump over here a little cheaper than regular diesel. And this is your diesel exhaust fluid pump. You put that in your little cap here, you gotta undo it, and then this will fit in there. All right, let's find out what she'll weigh. There you go. I just had a big lunch. First way, are you weigh? First way? Do we got a truck number? Uh, truck number three, trailer number three. Go ahead, call your truck off, find a party spot, go and get your ticket. Thank you. All right, kids, so <laughs> what have we learned today? I don't know, what have we learned? Wait a minute, we've learned that there's too much going on at the oh, truck man. stop. Oh got lawnmowers and tow trucks and, so what do you want to do? Let's go somewhere quiet. Hey. We got a trailer. It's a living quarters. It's an outlaw. It's insulated. Let's go inside. All right. 
Mr. Truck, I have the weight scale ticket right here. Okay. Truck and trailer and the two of us. 23,060 pounds. Wow. Yes. So the truck itself weighs around 8,300 pounds. You and I weigh, weigh, what, a couple hundred pounds? Something like that. Sure. So this trailer actually weighs around 14,000 pounds empty. Right, and you put the horses in here, four horses, you get a lot of weight in these. And living quarters are like toy haulers. When you got a whole compartment in the back for cargo or for horses, it's nose heavy. So you got a lot of tongue weight. I mean, you can be 25% tongue weight on a toy hauler or a horse trailer like this with living quarters. So you put the horses in there to balance it back out. So yeah, yeah, this is a pretty good load for the Ram. I'm glad it's got that air assist ride on there. It leveled this out really well. I hope this top five actually helped you guys out a little bit when towing big and heavy. That's true. It's a different, different world with the big trucks and the big trailers. Yes. Go back to tfltruck.com for more news, views, and real reviews. And where else can they go? MrTruck.com. <laughs>